Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Hope everyone is well and good. This video is going to be me. Basically me preparing for my new job. So it's going to be over like a few weeks. It's the 21st of July today. Um, and I start my new job on the 14th of August. So it's going to be a few weeks of prep up until then. Um, and I just want to show you me doing different things. Like getting stuff done. Like ready for work. Um, I've kind of showed some outfits and stuff in another video that I've got. Um, just basically getting ready for my new job. Because obviously I'm, I'm fun employed. And yeah I need to get back into the swing of things. Me just moving my room around so it's a bit messy right now so I'm going to tidy it first and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in terms of my desk setup very messy currently I'm just using it as like a makeup table but I'm basically going to turn it that way so it faces the window um, and then natural lights coming in and then that will be my background like that will kind of be a background and I'm also going to put a shelf up um, but that's not going to happen today but I'll show you when the shelf is up right so this is a new day it's the next day slip my hair it's looking real cute I just wanted to show you guys what I was talking about in terms of the update so basically moved my desk to face this way and I'll basically be able to be on like zoom or whatever from this angle and hopefully it should look better like obviously I'll probably get a screen and stuff. again you're gonna have to ignore my room like I I'm not one of those people that has a very aesthetic room. I'm going to keep it so real. So this is just what we've got. This is the mat because the table's a bit like dusty. So it's going to be like this. Yeah, so it'll literally be like this kind of setup. And I so yeah, it will be kind of like this vibe. Hello, I'm in a weird position, but this is a continuation of my prep for work with me. I'm currently just in the middle of dyeing bundles because I got some new hair for work. I picked up from NZ Parla. She's a Instagram hairstylist and she also sells hair and hair's giving amazing. I got one 26 to 24 inch bundles and a 7x7 seven seven 18 inch closure but it's looking really really long so far. This is the 24. This is the other 24. Um, this is raw hair as well so it's looking very much full to the end but I thought raw hair usually comes with like the what is it like a ziplock thing at the top but I don't really care the hair's looking nice and then yeah this is the 26 so my sister's bundles that are in there and then I'm gonna put mine in here as well I've just got some bin bags laid out because I'm basically doing it bit by bit I tried to do like a watercolor thing but honestly I need it to be thorough and jet black all the way um, I'm using poly tint dye you can literally get this from like B&M Wilco it's so cheap it's two pounds um, in raven black and it's really good permanent or I'm not going to dye the closure because I'm actually going to dye the closure once I've made the wig um, I just think it'll be a bit easier so it's my hair looks crazy it's the 2nd of august um t minus 12 days till i start working and i'm just sorting out my new hair so this is it so i've already started sewing it and then i've just sewn on my closure it's a seven by seven looking very cute hello hello good morning today is monday the 7th so it's seven days till i start work um and this is another update i just wanted to show you two things i'm currently doing in terms of like you know like self-care um so i've started using some teeth whitening strips i've only done one i need to like get on with it but i just can't be bothered to do them which is so bad so i'll do one of these today i think i've got four left but they're the crest um 3d lux white strips i've used them before like two years ago um and i thought that they did really help just kind of like brighten your teeth i've got four to go so if i can use these for um over the next week before i start work um and basically you just peel it off there's a top and a bottom thing you just put them on the top and the bottom of your teeth and they really help with kind of like i feel like they do whiten but more kind of like stain removal brightening because like my teeth are like decent but i just feel like when they're that bit brighter they just look a lot more you know like scrumdily yum yum so i'll use this like every evening for the next couple of days this is really weird but i also got a tongue scraper i didn't use the tongue scraper i just used to brush my tongue with my toothbrush so i got a tongue scraper as well so i've been doing that i just feel like i just want to be like extra um using my tongue scraper now um 
just to yeah be that little bit cleaner like i just want to like level up on my you know personal hygiene and stuff um i got that from amazon i think it was like eight pound i can't bother to get it but it's just like you just scrape your tongue um so yeah and then my teeth whitening and then also i've started using purse breaks again so i used this like maybe two years ago and this basically is a very strong antiperspirant but it literally stops you from sweating so i'm quite a sweaty person and i'm sick of it so like obviously i haven't worked for three months and at my last job i was working from home a lot so i wasn't really around like having to do a whole day like at work and in work clothes work like it's just not a vibe like i just don't want to feel like that so yeah i've started using this. this is really amazing i think you basically put it on for five day four or five days until the sweat swap stops you put it on at night and then wash it off in the morning and then you use it like once every like few days um so i've used this for about five days now but i haven't used it properly because it does kind of burn so i've just been dabbing it on so my sweat is like almost stopped now so i'm gonna keep using this thing every other day for the next week um and then like obviously once i start work i'll just use that every few days or so just to manage um but yeah that's what i'm kind of doing in terms of preparing on a on a hygiene kind of level hello it is the it's tuesday the 8th of august t minus six days till i start my job and this is the next part of the prep so i'm still in between doing my wig um i've basically just bleached the knot bleach the knots it's very hard to see because the hair's like half wet yeah, i need to even 15 minutes but yeah the next part of the prep for work is getting my eyebrow microblading top up so it's going to be my i think four to six week top up so obviously i've had them done four to six weeks ago i can't remember um i haven't plucked around them so hopefully this is fine for her but yeah, I just need my top up. So this is my little outfit for the day. She in Skims dupe top and then some ASOS jeans. My fave pair of Yeezys. These ones are so comfortable. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get the train down. I'm on my way to my grass. This UK is a terrible place. It is raining so, so much. 2.33 and appointments are 2.45, but it's just like a five minute walk. So yeah, this is the before, so the one session. Oh, this underpath is giving gliding. I had to put my headscarf on my head because I gotta protect my hair because my natural hair's out. So yeah, I will catch you when I'm there. Back to my car and let me just show you my brows again. Looking very good. They're not as dark as last time, so. Yeah, very happy, love the shape. She just topped up. It literally took like 15 minutes. I thought it was gonna take longer, but she's basically like they've healed really, really well. So there wasn't too much to do, which I'm happy about. I don't know if it will take another two weeks to heal, but honestly, I might need to just get my face wet. So we'll see, get my eyebrows wet. And then yeah, the next stage of this would be back to hair. Um, so yeah, catch you in that section. This is my hair, freshly washed and blow dried. Um, I did like a nice deep condition as well with some hair mayo um, and then my sister's gonna cornrow it. I've got some one of the teeth whitening strips on at the moment um, and then I'm gonna sit and start straightening my wig so yeah. Oh they got me a little, got a little gift. Isn't this cute? Corporate babe Hannah, my sis um, very in law and they got me like a box of goodies that for work there's a notebook in there some m&ms which i'm about to eat but how adorable ah! yeah, corn road and this is just me putting my wig on i haven't cut the lace here i think it will need more plucking but whatever but honestly this hair is long like 26 inches also i'm 5'7 like this hair is long Imagine I got 30, damn. This so, this is the wig on without glue. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy in the back. I feel like it needs to be plucked more. It's still pretty, pretty dense. Hi vlog, it's the Friday before. Look at what the hair is giving. I need to put a little bit of, like, tint here long that's the fan being a paid actor so i'm gonna eat that i'm gonna get my nails done which is the next part of the prep 
so I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna leave and drive to my appointment so yeah catch you there hey guys vlog update I just got my finished my nails so this is what they're looking this is mm, I don't love them I'm gonna be honest also before someone comes in why don't you say anything I can't lie it's just not that deep so yeah, the customer service was I'm not gonna say I got the dumber but I'm just being honest like I went to Instagram person. I mean, the price was really good. I have been to her before, but and it's kind of like the same thing as before, so it's just not. But like, I know what I'm getting when I go there. But yeah, I don't love my nails. I think um, maybe because I got them short, and I feel like she's just, she's used to doing really long nails. Like they're still cute, but I just don't love the type of French. If you know what I mean? Like I don't know how to explain. But yeah, anyway, enough being rude, Hannah. But I just thought I'd be honest now what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna go to there's like a new aldi very near here so i think i'm gonna go to that aldi um and i might also go to tesco and i'm gonna get some ingredients because i'm gonna make stew this is also part of work prep i just want to have like stew in the freezer um that i can just like make with pasta make pasta and like have for my like work lunches kind of thing monday tuesday i'm not actually in the office is what they've told me my first day in the office is wednesday sorry random interjection if you want a coffee cup if you want a cup that actually keeps your drink cold get this cup it's from the brand called built like someone built something i've had this for years you can hear there's ice in that right i left i made this drink at about 8 30 and it's 12 and this ice is in there i put not that many cubes maybe like five my drink is still ice cold and it's 25 degrees today so let's just drop one of these hello vlog welcome to a new day so today is the saturday before i start work for so many job um just wanted to update you guys on what's going on obviously you would have seen my wig is made um but i'm gonna glue it on a little bit later but first of all i'm currently doing my toenails so, so i do my toenails myself obviously fingernails i did yesterday i don't think you can see again i was saying i don't like love but they're okay um so yesterday and then i'm just doing my own toes my toes were white but i want them french i feel like french just hits that little bit harder my gel it's a match as the base color um and then i use miley break the ice as the white tip and then i use a brush this liner brush to get the like french um and it's out of a kyra sky gel art thing but there's black in here so i just basically clean the brush and use it i should just get a white one it'll be easier but yeah that's what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna show you once my feet are done and then i'm gonna show you when i glue down my wig work event um i am going to la for toes is all done frenchies they're not perfect but i feel like with toes you can get away with them oh my god why my toes even in you can get away with them not being as perfect because you're kind of far away from them so yeah it's time to install this wig i've got my gel braids here I have put foundation on the lace. PBL glue, I got it from TikTok shop. Then it comes with a remover as well. Apparently it's really good. So probably gonna do like three layers. Um and yeah, because it's a seven by seven, it should be really easy to to glue down. So yeah. Just using some 70% alcohol to wipe my head. If you haven't if you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't do this, but it's fine for me. Yeah. I've also used a bit of this L'Oreal Paris dark brown. I should have black, so it's just probably about better, but the dark brown is actually fine. Just to clean up the part. I'm gonna do three layers. Three thin layers. Oh. Two. Okay, this is three layers. I'm not naked, by the way. Um, this bit's not fully, fully clear. Putting a band on. This thin band from Amazon is great. I'm just hot combing and straightening the front. The top, I'm using Keracex wax, Kira Care wax sticks and Nairobi mousse. Um, smooth down the top. I mean, that's fairly flat. Look at this. Okay, that is melted apart from this weird white bit, but that's not even where the lace is. Oh, 
hello guys welcome back to the video today is sunday the 13th of august which means that i start work tomorrow as i've mentioned before um the first two days are actually work from home and it's just induction stuff obviously i'm just doing my prep now the last thing of my prep is waxing my legs so it's easy i've got my wax pot i use i think this is just wax I don't want to take it out because it's hot um that's the wax it is though yeah just wax and i can't remember what flavor this i think it's like vanilla or something um and yeah that's all heated up ready to go and then i just got these wax strips from amazon i prefer wax fabric ones as opposed to like the paper ones um i've just powdered up my leg so it's looking dry and ashy as it should per doing my snail trail currently because this gets to go as well and then just my legs start i'm thinking do i also do my armpits because obviously i've done on videos i was doing laser but now i'm kind of like mm. and there's a little bit of hair now mad but i don't know but i'm gonna wax up my legs this is the before my floor's dirty but i'm just gonna sweep after i do everything very hairy I can't lie, I definitely double dip when I'm waxing just because I can't lie, it's me, it's just for myself. Obviously, yeah, if you're a professional, don't double dip. Um, and also, when I used to wax my Brazilian era, area, I didn't double dip for that. I only really double dip because I can't lie, I sat my legs, it's not really that deep. And it's me. So, yeah. Look at that. Lovely. I decided I also want to do my armpit, so I've done one little patch. Oh, that armpit's painful to I'm going to do it in little bits because pain is not fun. This isn't the wax I should be using for armpits, but basically if I want to use the correct wax, I need to wait and heat that up in the thing and I really can't be bothered, so... This is what I'm talking about before as far as the uh, special moments. Ooh, like, I, I, I gave this talk before, but ooh. you know, I was meeting different people from you know Diddy to whatever, and I would just show them like, you know, this is what we did. More done with waxing. Damn, the armpits hurt. I haven't done them perfectly because, <sighs> boy, I was tired. Um, I need to clean up, but yeah, decent. Not bad. And then these is my legs. A nice and fresh. Just gonna have a nice oh, shower. Scrub my body. Obviously, the parts I didn't know why. So I did it in a bit of a weird order. Um, and then yeah, watch Grey's Anatomy, chill, and then get ready for my first day at work. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.